Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailer Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit apply a discount with a custom summary formula from the project evaluate report data with formulas. Now, as part of this unit challenge, the concept that we are going to take up here is custom summary formula. We'll see how we can create them and use them in our lightning reports. And the use case that we have for this unit that we have to apply 5% discount on accounts with opportunity that exceed $100,000 of amount. So we are going to apply summary formula for this use case. Let's see how we can do that. For that, you have to launch your Trailhead Playground. And here you have to search for reports. We are going to create a new report on opportunity object. So select that new button and here under recently used report types, I have this opportunity. If at all it is not coming, you can directly go to this option on your left-hand side and select from here as well. Click on start report. Right now we are not able to see any of the opportunity records. So for that, either you can set the filter of close date to all time from here, or you can go to filters tab and for the close date, you can change the range from current FQ to all time. Click on apply. Now, the next thing is we have to apply summary formula. So if you will click on this drop down against column section, there is this add summary formula, but right now this is not enabled and we are not able to click on this summary formula feature. So, so what we are missing over here is to create summary formula, we have to make sure that we apply group rows in our lightning report. So as part of this unit challenge, we are going to group our reports based on opportunity ID. Search for ID and you have to select opportunity ID. Now this will group all the opportunity records based on opportunity ID. Now since Salesforce has unique ID for each record, that's why we are getting only one count against each opportunity ID. As you can see, there is only one record of any opportunity ID. So now if you will click on this drop down, the add summary formula will be available. Before we go ahead with our add summary formula, we will be saving our report. So what's the name that we have to give to our report is opportunities after discount. So copy this, click on save, name it. Folder is not specified in the steps in our project unit. So we are going to keep it as private reports. If you wish to change it, you can go ahead with that. So I'm keeping it private reports only. Click on save. Now, next is we are going to create add summary column here now. So for that, you have to again go to this drop down, click on add summary formula. Now here, the column name that we are going to give is amount after total. So copy this column name and paste it here in the text area. The formula output type will be of currency. The formula that we are going to add over here is based on the if function. So you have to go to if tab here on the top and select this if function, click on insert. The syntax that we have for if function is we have to, first of all, the first parameter specify the condition or the logical test that you have to add based on which it is decided whether the criteria is met. If the criteria is met, it is going to apply this part of the if condition. Else, if it is false, then it is going to apply the last part of this if condition. So let's see what logic that we have to apply. So in the starting of the video, I have mentioned that it is going to apply 5% discount on the accounts with opportunities which have $100,000 greater than $100,000 of amount. So what we are going to do is we are going to check if the amount is greater than 100,000. Now here, if you see, there is this sum also written. Let's see what it is. So first of all, for the logical test, you have to go to fields and select this amount field. If you are not able to see over here, you have to just search for amount. So select this, make sure the sum option is selected from this drop down. click on insert. Now here you see amount colon sum. Now what does this mean? So right now our 
our report has been grouped based on unique opportunity ID. So each row has only one record, or you can say each grouping has only one record. Now, if there are multiple records based on based on our grouping, let's say we have grouped our report based on stage. So there can be multiple records that are on a specific stage. So let's say I have I have grouped based on stage and closed one stage has five records. So what it is going to do, it is going to sum or add all the values that are present for those five records for that particular closed one grouping. And it is going to add that. And then it is going to compare with our criteria that I want to check if my amount sum is greater than 100,000. So this is what we are applying. It is going to first calculate the sum of all the records in each grouping, and then it is going to compare it. Now, if this is true, then in that case, we are going to give 5% of discount. So again, you have to select this amount field and insert it in the true part of the if condition. So now if this is uh, true, we are going to give out 5% discount. So in order to do that, you have to multiply the amount sum with 0 0.95. This is a simple mathematics that we are applying over here. And if it is false, then we are simply going to show the amount sum. So just you have to click on insert again and the amount sum will be visible over here without any discount. So this is all uh, we have for our logic in our summary formula column. Just select this validation button and a formula is validated. There are no syntax error. Now click on apply. Now you can see that the column that we have added as part of summary level formula, it is coming at the end. Now the last thing that we have to do is you have to go to your amount column and summarize it based on the sum. So Click on this drop down, select sum, summarize drop down again and select the sum option. So this is going to apply the sum of all the amount value for each grouping. So here you can see since we have only one record based on our unique opportunity ID grouping. So it is showing the exact same value. Now, the last thing that we have to do is we have to disable the toggles at the bottom row count and detail rows. So disable, disable both of these toggles and you can see only opportunity ID column is appearing over here, nothing else. Why? Because we are previewing our report and here a limited number of records are visible. Just click on save and run. Now you can see there are two columns coming, sum of amount. This sum of amount is coming because we have summarized our amount column based on sum. And this column is coming from our summary level formula. So you can see that this one is less than 100,000. So that's why it is not giving out 5% discount. But if you will see, this one is greater than 100,000. So it is giving 5% of discount. That means it is multiplying this value to 0 0.95. This is the amount that you'll get after 5% of discount on the amount values which are greater than 100,000. So this is all you have to do in this step or in this unit of our project. Just click on verify step button Thank you so much. There you go, this unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.